All right, everyone, here we go. Monday morning video. Woohoo! Remember, we're talking about the word blessed. Uh, we're going through the Beatitudes, but first we start with some announcements. Uh, I think everybody knows who I am, Wade Cruz, Senior Adult Pastor at Quell Springs Baptist Church. Uh, you can see today I have on my, my Navy hat, I have a, a blessing story. Uh, I want you to think about your blessings and think about uh, the ways God has blessed you over the years and even recently. But uh, let's do some announcements. We had a great time Friday night with the Williamsons. Uh, wow, what a an amazing turnout. What a great uh, night and evening. Uh, food was outstanding. Uh, entertainment was, you know, top shelf. And so uh, it was a great, great time. And we really, really enjoyed that and enjoyed seeing all of you that could uh, show up and make it and fellowship with us. Uh, we'll do more of that. Uh, Leisure Live Wire is coming back in September, taking August off, uh, get everybody a chance to stay out of the heat. Uh, coming up uh, this weekend, we have our Summit uh, Connect Group slash Sunday School Leadership Training uh, beginning at 4 p.m. For us, for senior adults, that will be in Fellowship Hall. We'll start there and stay there. We'll have some refreshments, some snacks. We'll have a good time of uh, fellowship and, and focus, and we'll facilitate uh, you know, church work and that kind of thing. We're going to have some informational stuff for you. Uh, I really need you to be there if you're one of the leaders, if you have a role of any kind, uh, if you if you take attendance, if you plan the trips and events, if you greet at the door, if you teach, if you direct, if you, you know, uh, play the, the piano for the assembly, I'd love to see you there. So uh, come on uh, Sunday, this Sunday, uh, the 7th at uh, 4 p.m. in uh, Fellowship Hall will be there and we'll have a, a great time. And then the very next Sunday is going to be our Connect Sunday on the 14th. And we'll have a really wonderful time. Many of you uh, purchased t-shirts in advance for that. Feel free to wear those. I think they get picked up this Sunday. I'm, I'm not sure. I haven't seen any yet. I don't have mine. Uh, but I encourage you to dress down that day. It's going to be hot. Uh, most of the events will be outside uh, starting about 1030, 1045. We'll be doing some fellowshipping. There'll be hot dogs and hamburgers and all sorts of things. Lots of water, lots of uh, time. Bring, bring your um, bag chair, your lawn chair, uh, do that kind of stuff. And uh, then we'll, we'll have uh, a good time. Also, we'll have some space inside in Fellowship Hall uh, for our senior adults that it's just too hot or uh, forgot to dress down. And uh, you'll probably even see some young adults walking around in shorts. It's okay. Nobody's going to burst into flames because they're in shorts at church, but uh, it's not, you know, normal and, and it's not the way I dress, uh, but I'm an old soul and um, I have a funny story about shorts in church that I'll tell you some other time. But I want to start with my uh, Navy hat story and uh, then we'll, we'll, we'll press on. Um, so I was in the Navy, so I can, I can wear this hat a long time ago. Um, many of you know, some of you don't know, but I'm actually a graduate of Naval Nuclear Power School. Uh, I know it's crazy they used to let me work on and operate nuclear reactors, uh, but I'll just, I'll, I'll give you a little secret. I'm a lot smarter than I look and act, but uh, anyway, it was one of um, my uh, greatest achievements and something I'm very proud of. A few people uh, accomplished that. And there's a huge uh, attrition rate. A lot of people wash out of that school. And, um, you know, you have to maintain a 2.5 average throughout the in, entire length of the school or, or you're gone. So anyway, I made it through that. But when I was in boot camp, uh, every Sunday was, was your kind of free time, your day off. They kept you very, very busy, even on Sunday. But uh, the little free time you did have was Sunday. And most of the guys slept in or, you know, there were a lot of back in in um, the late 80s or early 80s, I went to boot camp 40 years ago in 1982. Uh, there were a lot of uh, smokers back then and that kind of thing, and that's what they would do. But little old me from Moore, Oklahoma, uh, I thought every Sunday morning you were supposed to go to church. So I'd get all dressed up and I'd go over to the chapel and we even began um, a choir. I was in choir in high school and we began a little uh, chapel choir and it was really cool. We were singing, you know, back then lots of imperials and stuff like that, but we were having a great time and we were really, I guess, without knowing it, we were really making the uh, little female chaplain look really good. So um, we were having a good time. And like I said, I was just doing what I thought every Christian should do. And so 
I'm going to uh, uh, chapel every Sunday, church, you know, on at boot camp, the Protestant um, services. And one day, about about the one of my last weeks of boot camp, uh, week seven, eight, something like that, my drill instructor calls me into his office and he said, Cruz, what'd you do? And I said, which time, sir? And he said, uh, well, you're supposed to report to the officer's mess. Now, I'm, I'm not only just enlisted, I'm a boot camp kid. I mean, I'm, I'm nothing. And uh, he goes, you, as you get on your dress blues and you'd be at the officer's mess 7.30 a.m. on Thursday. I said, uh, okay, what for? And he said, you're attending the Admiral's prayer breakfast. Wow. Um, it's just one of those things that you don't realize people are watching you. You're just trying to honor God with every step and every breath and do, you know, what you're supposed to do. So I was the only recruit uh, at boot camp attending this thing. I was representing all the other recruits and I was sitting at a table with captains and admirals and people from San Diego from the community. Uh, the speaker that day was the, the president general manager of the San Diego Padres baseball team. And everybody was asking me, you know, all that, where are you from, son? And how's boot camp going and blah, 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 and all that stuff. And so anyway, it was just a, a real honor. But um, while we don't believe in the theology of prosperity, we do know that God honors people that honor him. And it may not be in ways that, you know, Western civilization would say, wow, you're really blessed. Uh, you're really you know, I mean, you may not have a lot of property and a lot of, a lot of house and a lot of car and all that, but uh, you got a lot of the Lord and that's what matters. So that's one of my blessing stories. And then I'll finish up with uh, another one at the end. So it's interesting um, when you, when you, you know, earlier we talked about Proverbs 1, 7, uh, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, fools despise wisdom and instruction. And I just find it interesting that the very first thing that happens at the Sermon on the Mount uh, when Jesus sees the multitude on the mountain, he starts pouring into them. He starts giving them knowledge. He starts discipling them. He starts giving them wisdom and instruction. So I would say the people that despised that were the fools and the people that received it uh, feared the Lord. So we already talked about the first two Beatitudes. Uh, blessed are the poor in spirit for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Blessed are those who mourn for they shall be comforted. Uh, speaking of that, uh, Wednesday at 10 a.m. in the chapel, if you receive this on Wednesday or after Wednesday, then it will have already passed. But uh, in the chapel, I'm pointing this way because that's where the chapel is from my office. Uh, in the chapel will be the service for Dora Mae Jones. She passed away uh, last week, last Wednesday. And so uh, her, her service will be uh, Wednesday, August 3rd, 10 a.m., in the chapel. So if you get to see this before that and you know her and, and uh, loved her and remember her, uh, that's when that service will be. And Dr. Rummage will uh, bring the message and Ray Griffin will, will do the, the, the front side and, and, and the closing and, and the obituary and things like that. So uh, be a time to come love on her family and honor her memory and that kind of thing and, and hear from those guys. So the third beatitude, so I have an English Standard Version here. I also have a King James Version over here because I want you to see the difference. So you have heard it. I'll, I'm going to do the King James, the more familiar one first. Okay. So remember this word here, blessed. Okay. Blessed or happy. How happy. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Now, now we think of meek as weak. We think of meek as mild. We think of meek as, you know, that doormat that people wipe their feet on. We think of meek as, as shriveled up and that kind of thing. But, you know, Jesus, the most powerful uh, being, not, he's not even in the universe, but he's the creator of the universe, but he's the most, he's the supreme being. Um, he went like a lamb to the slaughter. He was meek, uh, wasn't he? Uh, when you look here, it says, Blessed are the humble, for they will inherit the earth. That's what the English Standard Version says. So that meek, that humble, that selfless uh, kind of posture, uh, that, and then of course it says, inherit the earth. Um, so we, we go from kingdom of heaven to comforted to, to the earth. And really, 
it's it's the right order. The, the Beatitudes are in like this ascending order. And the first thing you have to get right is your relationship with God, your eternal destination. Then you have to realize that no matter what happens, everything's okay. God's going to comfort you. You know, God is there with you and for you. And then you got to understand, you know, just like Jesus said later, uh, he who would be first should be last and servant of all. For even the son of man did not come to be served, but to serve and give his life a ransom for many. This, this, you've probably heard this before, but that word there for meek or, or humble or gentle, it really means, you know, it's a, it's a picture of a horse in a, in a bridle. It really means, you know, a kind of form of submission that, that you have put yourself down in that humility, that humbleness kind of way. And, and, you know, you have submitted to an authority of a master. Well, guess what? Um, when you do that, when, when it's, it, it describes great power, strength under control, it's not a weak position. It's a strong position that uh, is humble because it's confident and it's confident in the Lord. And when, and when you have the confidence of God on your side, uh, when you, when you know, you don't have to be a jerk or confrontational or whatever to get your way, you know, um, then, then the, the world is, is your oyster kind of thing. And so, you know, the, the confidence and the boldness that comes from God, kind of like we've been studying in Elisha, where he has to tell people, don't worry, God's got this. God, open their eyes, let them see how you have this. And then, you know, there's all these chariots of fire and all these angels and all these things. So, um, you know, Elisha had the vision and the perspective, that godly uh, perspective. And that's what this is, is you have that confidence in God that leads to uh, a meekness, a gentleness, a humbleness uh, within yourself and with man. Because if God's for you, who can be against you? You know, it, it, I, it's one of those things where um, I've told people often, do you know why you and God are an unbeatable combination? Because God can't be defeated. So why, why go around being cocky and conceited and arrogant and boastful and proud when really to inherit the earth, to get everything God has for you, uh, just be meek and humble and, you know, servant of all. And so that's, that's kind of where the rubber meets the road, especially if we want to be blessed. So, uh, you know, happiness, uh, joy doesn't come from accumulation. It, it comes from honoring God. Now, I'll, I'll wrap this up with uh, a Dora May story. Uh, she she loved to tell jokes. One of her jokes uh, that she told a lot. She one time, you know, she'd get that real serious. You know, I'm I'm gonna give you some discipleship. She goes, "Hun, the secret to a happy marriage, you all need to go out to eat twice a week." And I said, "Really?" She goes, "Yeah, Rachel goes on Tuesday, and you go on Thursday." <laughs> so that's how Dora May uh, kind of kind of uh, rolled. But anyway. Um, Something that I wanted to share with you that nobody else knows, she really poured into my life. God used her. Uh, I'd been teaching senior adults and, and the joy class and adult one for several years, four or five years. And uh, this was about eight and a half years ago, uh, probably right before I retired from, from government work. And I was, I was kind of, you know, felt like I'd, I'd run out all my line. And, you know, I'm like, ah. And I told her, I said, I, I think I'm, I'm done. I'm going to, you guys need a new teacher. I've been doing this for four or five years now. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm ready to kind of throw in the towel and move on and explore some other church stuff and things like that. And she goes, she goes, oh, hon, she goes, I, I wouldn't do that. She goes, I really think God has some bigger things in store for you. And then about five months later, I get approached for this job. So. How do you explain that? Um, and it did take a lot of uh, humbleness, submitting to God speaking to me through a person like Dora Mae Jones. It, it took a lot of uh, being gentle and not trying to force my own way and being meek and uh, having strength and power that was under God's control. Uh, so 
that's the the devotion today and and uh, those are your announcements so don't forget all you leaders i uh, need you to show up uh, sunday at four o'clock in fellowship hall for our summit leadership training uh, that we have annually and i think you'll you'll enjoy it we have a lot of neat stuff planned uh, and and tell all the other folks in your class i love you guys and next week we'll be on to the next blessed are those bye